Oh, good, good morning, um, Seven Spot people and Northwest West Crow Owners Group. Uh, we're now going live from a very sunny Asian um, with Northwest Kit Car Owners Group who are uh, on the charity run donation uh, run out to, to Clare House, a children's hospice. So without further ado, I'll put you over to Trevor Harmer, who is um, now live. Trevor? Hi, John. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Weather looks good. What? Do you know what? I think um, we're pretty blessed, to be fair. I mean, you can yeah. see how lovely it is. And yeah. when, when I set this event up, which is the, uh, the Clare House charity run donation, we, yeah. uh, we had 12 cars going for last weekend. But usual thing, when the sun comes out, everyone comes out. So yeah. uh, let me just turn the camera around and give you a smile. See, we're at the ice cream farm at the moment. So <laughs> Right, okay. So we've actually got... An abs a, a, a very, very good turnout. It does look busy, Trev. I think, that, as you it, say, the weather's, weather's really made a difference. It has made a hell of a difference. Um, we've got um, 24, 24 kit cars that wow. uh, come out with us today. Brilliant. Um, Brilliant. Bear with me a second. I'm trying to do this and eat my ice cream at the same time. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not the uh, the best of things. Of course, in the meantime, I'm trying to keep my finger out of the way. <laughs> what so, <of> the ice cream <laughs> yeah <laughs> steady um well as you can see it's uh an excellent turnout good good selection of cars and makes there as well which is what this green yeah we've about. got quite a few ac cobras yeah keep those in the shot <laughs> <laughs> is that mike shepherd's uh, no, isn't it uh, is that, sorry is that mike shepherd's cobra it is yeah i yeah. recognize a lot of them yeah yeah uh, and then we've got a couple of, we've got an Ultima and a yeah, couple that's, more. That's an amazing car, apart from the three miles. It is, it gets everywhere. He's, yeah. he's a bit of a, a bit of a cut, uh, kit, um, kit slut, I suppose. He's our yeah. Tim. He gets, three, gets around everywhere. Three miles. So I suppose you want to know why we're here. I do, yeah. What, what, what are you actually doing, Trevor, today? Well, as you know, we, um, oh, hang well, on a second, we've got there's, there's, another there's one arriving. Richard there's arriving. Jalopy, there's Jalopy as well. It's quite interesting, actually, because Richard, um, four months ago, broke both of his arms. Oh and he's only just got them out of plaster, both arms. He's got pins in them and everything, and now he's driving his kit. Wow, top play. Fair play, fair play. Yeah. It must be like, a, he must be bionic now, the way he's turning that steering wheel. <laughs> so... Why we're here? Nice um, this is why. As Jalopy. This is the reason why we're here today. Clare House Children's Hospice, yeah. Yeah. It's not Kit Fest Santa Pod. That's not. That's not. No, that's 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 uh, that's there. That one there. Yeah. And uh, as you can see, it's on the bonnet as well. Yeah. Uh, we got a friend with us today. Yeah. Northwest Kit Co-owners Group Ted. He's yeah. got a friend. He's made a friend. He has. So what are we doing? We raise money for Clare House Hospice throughout the year. All, all our members donate at the beginning of the season in January, a minimum of £12. People donate more than that when they want say, and, yeah. and so on. Yeah. yeah. And, and um, with our memberships this year um, and what we raised last year, we're actually going to be donating seven thousand seven hundred pounds today. Wow! To Clare House Hospice. Seven thousand seven hundred pounds. That's a substantial amount for any business. It's uh, not bad, is it? It's not bad. No, no, that is phenomenal oh, because, I, I mean, if you look where we've come from, I think the first year's donation was three and a half thousand pounds, and we, we were pleased with that. It was, yeah. Second year was four thousand four hundred ninety-six. Yeah. Last year was 6,454. Well, I mean, that's with COVID as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And this year, it's 7,700. So, in total, that's just over, over 22,000 pounds. Yeah, that is, that, um, is, that, is, that is substantial. It, it, it's, um, it's all goes to Clare House, but it's actually all spent on the children, isn't it? It is. It is. There's no C large CEO uh, wages or anything like that. It's, it's a fairly small hospice. 
They've just yeah. built, uh, sorry, they've just bought another one in uh, Liverpool, which is an old okay. Victorian house, and they'd need to need some funds to actually get that up and running. But it's well, that, all about end of end of life uh, yeah. care, really, for children and the parents. So they can get a little bit of respite, yeah. and they can come over for the weekend and stop there. There's lots of things, sanctuary rooms. Uh, the, you know, I, I think there's only about six beds, however. Um, right. Hence yeah. why they needed to expand and, and open the other one up in Liverpool. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how, how many beds I've got in there as yet. I was going to say I've, I've worked in a couple of care, uh, worked as a finance accountant for a couple of care homes, big big groups, and I I know just how tight the funding is, and they're you know they're, 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 they're always grateful um, for anything, you know, even if it's a hundred pounds um, just to spend. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice fury here. I like the colour of that as well. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? Whose is that? It's this. This gentleman's here. So let's have nice. a quick chat about your Fury. Yes, it's my official Fury. It took me 16 years to build. Introduce yourself, yes, sir. I'm Ian Brown there. There we go. Uh, I'm a member of Hi, the Ian. North Biscuit Car Club for about three, four years. Um, I've just, uh, I suppose, the second time it's been on the road. It's a brand new engine. Been overdone by a AL Development on uh, down at uh, down at ST in Leeds, so it's the second time it's been on the road at the moment. Now I'm getting used to it. So after but, how long? It took me 16 years to make it. Just 16 years. <laughs> Just 16 years. Okay. Bear in mind, I've met the wife, two kids, three extensions, one house conversion, and a kit car on the road. So I'm thinking <laughs> that time I've been to too bad. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. not bad. John can tell you a story about that. He said something about buying an AC Cobra from AK. Yeah. And Oh, and yeah. the wife wanted a, a conservatory, was it, John? Uh, yeah, I'd, yeah I'd, I'd been out to um, AK Sports Cars over in Northampton. Uh, been out a test drive. She went out and it loved the car. Was just about to buy one. And then uh, the wife the wife at the time decided she wanted a conservatory instead. So th that was the end of that. <laughs> she who must be obeyed. Absolutely, yeah. Well, I don't have to now because, uh, yeah. <laughs> obvious reasons <laughs> yeah listen i just want to i just want to do something um i need to just catch this for uh for everyone to see because this is this is something oh here we go gary gary he's hiding it he's hi i have never seen i've never seen this guy out here with without his computer next to it so <laughs> where, where is it where, where where you're always messing with a map nothing to see there. nothing to see nothing to where, see you're I... hidden it underneath a coat <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> now this, this is a, a, well, can I say, is it a nice Cobra or is it a horrible Cobra? It just depends um, on the driver. See, this gentleman here, Mike Shepard, lovely chap. That, that's his Cobra over there. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant car. Brilliant car. Brilliant driver. Uh -huh. So, um, whereas this one, I'm not too sure. Um, this, this bit, maybe, maybe this hat gives it away. Um, <laughs> he's, he's the late lead singer of ACDC, yeah. Um, and uh, this bit this belongs to Martin Briggs, yeah. So, uh, it's uh, well, it's got quite a bit of grunt, quite a bit of power. What is it, Martin? What's what engine's in this? Go on, hang on a sec, come over and tell me about it. Go on, what is it? You've got Chevy 383. Yep. Stroker. Yep. You like a stroker, don't you? 425 brake horsepower. How much? 425. Wow. Nice. 425. Okay. Is it, is it normally aspirated? Yes. It is. No matter how much you look, you won't find a supercharger, right? Well, I, well, I was looking at uh, when he was up behind me. The couple, uh, I'll rephrase that. When he was chasing me, <laughs> yeah, I think you better. When he was chasing me down the road, um, I was quite surprised he was keeping up with me. So I thought uh, there has to be a supercharger in there somewhere, but it doesn't look like there is, is there? So it's normally aspirated. Injected. Is it injected? Yeah. Ah, aha. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. there we go. Now no, we're I'll just get getting to the bottom of it. Out. Yeah, uh, it's not yeah. it's injected so it's it's not forced injection but it is injection yeah okay well there we go anyway like i said not a very nice car <laughs> i uh, hate it i hate it it's horrible yeah. isn't it you know yeah, I, would, I would never have a i would never have, have a like cobra no I oh, we got another one that. here look yeah they're getting quite common trevor Bit like they are. yeah well this is this is a gardener douglas 
Yeah. So uh, they're, they're the ones you can uh, just take the body off as well, aren't they? The Gardner Douglas. Apparently so. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, just bolting on so. the body off for maintenance and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, yes. What we're going to do? Uh, we're going to leave leave here in about a um, quarter of an hour or so. Yeah. And then we'll be making our way up to Clare House Hospice. Uh, to make the donation, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure how we're going to get 24 kit cars <laughs> into Clare House Hospice because it's not a particularly big drive. Are they, are they expecting that many? <laughs> well, they're not. No, when I sp spoke to Cora yesterday, yeah. uh, the weather didn't look particularly brilliant. Hi, this ladies. Is the, yeah. This is our totty that we have for the Northwest <laughs> Kit Car Owners Group, as you can see. Beautiful ladies there. Um, you're live, by the way, on the Northwest Kit Car Owners Group live feed. Yes, yeah, just streaming, explaining that um, streaming when... internationally as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, go away, go away. And he's the one who drink who, who drives a Gardener Douglas as well. Believe it or not, <laughs> we have got some nice members, and then we've got him. Yeah, we, we, he's brought the wrong hat. <laughs> he has brought. No, he's brought the right hat. He likes winding people up, so he <laughs> drives a V8. And he has that on his head. It's yeah, absolutely it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah, we'll be driving from here. When I spoke to Cora yesterday, the weather wasn't particularly good, and we had about 12 cars that was going to come. Yeah. Um, and, of course, now the sun's out. And what happens? Everyone yeah. comes out. So um, nice. anyway, you we're like here at, uh, just, for, just very quickly, we're actually here at the Cheshire Ice Cream Farm. Yeah, it looks a fantastic place, Trev. It is. Um, it's, it's great for kids, and, and the ice cream is absolutely fantastic. Tell you what I'll do. Now the crowds have gone. I will just wander through to the back here, oh, yeah, and yeah. Um, I'll show you what uh, what it's all about. I imagine it gets quite popular as well. It, it does. Yeah, it does get very popular. So it's well worth coming here. By the way, you, you do realise that my ice cream is actually melty. <laughs> right. So here we go. This is oh, what you get. Play, playground and everything. Brilliant. Oh yeah, it's it's phenomenal. The kids absolutely love it here. Wow, I never I, I never knew about it, Trev. No, not, not not many people do. To be honest, it's not. It is advertised, but not particularly brilliantly. Yeah. So see this tree, this ice cream tree in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, every, every it's not done it now, but every half hour, it uh, blows out bubbles. Yeah. And foam from the top for the kids. Oh, brilliant! So we got uh, Strawberry Falls over in the back there. Yeah, we got a lot of falls uh, in Northwest Kit Carolers Group as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the, the kids love it. Yeah, it's you know, brilliant. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, fantastic place to actually come to. Yeah. So as you've got ice cream polar parlor, uh, take home park marshmallow mold honeycomb canyon. So it's uh, it's pretty good. Excellent. It's pretty good. Right, I'll make my way back out again. Okie dokie. I was going to say, if you get a chance to stream from Claire House, uh, we can do, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you might not be able to because of the confidentiality. Yeah, well, what, what I'll do is I'll, I'll ask, what, once we get there, we just got to get permission um, from, from the, the parents yeah. um, to make sure that we can actually... Um, you know, stream from there. Yeah, yeah. So there we are. But hopefully I will be able to stream from Clare House. We'll be up there in about another hour's time. Okay, um, well, I'll, 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 hang, I'll hang fire in that, in, in that case then and then um, see yeah. where we go with it, really. Yeah. Well, well, we'll be leaving in about 10 minutes. Yeah. It takes us about an hour to get up to Clare House. Right. Uh, give, me, give me 10 or 15 minutes to get set up. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then hopefully we can do another quick... Um, live stream. Just a quick, quick look yeah. As you can see, the yeah, yeah. kids and everybody love it here. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a, have a good run up, Trevor, and uh, we'll perhaps catch you later then. All right. We'll do. All cheers, right. John. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Right, bye. Bye.